Hey guys, how are y'all? I'm Julian. I will uh, be discussing a TED Talk today. And it's for my education class for Professor Scott T. Grubbs. So, here we go, guys. Um, what I was going to focus on today is, for years, we have had questions regarding cell phone usage in classrooms. Do they belong or do they not belong? Um, it's hard to believe that students with cell phones in class aren't going to st stroll through the web, go through Twitter, Instagram, whatever they want to do, right? So it's a lot harder than whenever all we did was pass notes. So it's a lot harder to regulate. In April 2010, a study by the Pew Internet American Life Project and the University of Michigan found that in schools that permitted students to use cell phones, 71% of students received or sent text messages during classrooms. That's not the shocking part, though. Schools that permitted cell phones but didn't permit cell phones in class saw that 65% of students received or sent out text messages during their classroom instruction time. And even more shocking, um, schools that did not allow any cell phones at all were uh, saw a 58%, which is still shocking. It's almost as close to the ones that allowed cell phones in and outside of class. You know, regular blocks last, what, let's say 40 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes. Teachers sometimes collaborate with their students and allow them to use their cell phones. But that is until they are done teaching. So they ask for the students' full attention for an hour and then the rest of the time is theirs to do whatever. Other, other teachers give in and just let the students do whatever on their phone, go through internet, whatever, just as long as they're doing their schoolwork, Twitter, Instagram, etc. And some teachers even let students use earbuds while instruction time is going on. How effective is that though? How does that mess with the student? Studies show that classical music does help you concentrate and it does soothe your nerves and all this but are students really listening to classical music during instruction time i don't think so peter bergman wrote in the in the harvard business review blog network that multitasking can reduce productivity by as much as 40 percent so if students are listening to music, going through their phone during instruction time, they're getting 60%, some even less. That's just an average number. Even, it can even, in, in, multitasking can even increase stress and cause a 10 point fall in the IQ level. That's what Peter Bergman wrote. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> Schools have actually embraced cell phones though some schools and they incorporate them into their teaching some teachers state that they give students a chance to collaborate with each other and connect with peers around the country okay that's cool they can be used for high-tech alternatives to boring classroom lectures letting kids to take part in interactive assignments like cl classroom polls like to vote on one answer or the other they can serve as notepads or an alarm for setting study reminders. They can be used as recording devices, letting students record an impression that the teacher makes and just to help the kid remember. But Paul Thomas tells us, a former teacher and an associate professor of education at Furman University was quoted as saying, Teaching is a human experience. Technology is only a distraction when, a, when we need literacy, numeracy, and critical thinking. The cell phone obviously cannot think for you. It's up to you to do your job and think for yourself. 
you don't need technology for critical thinking. Students really don't necessarily need more discipline to stay off their phones, but rather I would think that they need help. Help from the teacher. They need to be inspired to learn about life, humanity, nature, our planet, and the cosmos. Policies getting rid of cell phones in school are simply not enough. As we can see by these statistics, even schools that ban cell phones completely still have a 58% that students re receive or send out texts during classroom experiences. It's in our hands as the teachers to help the students connect with the learning, inspire them to learn more, to ask more questions, to think more on themselves and help to hold their short span attention. Thank you guys.